Hi everyone, so in this video I am doing a digital speed paint and for some reason I really really wanted to draw something nice and summery. Something that just screams summer because it's been getting really really hot around here and um, summer is approaching quickly. It's still technically spring but I think within a couple of a couple of weeks it'll finally be summer. It already feels like summer, but it's not technically summer yet. I just wanted to draw something super like aesthetically pleasing. It's not the most creative idea in the world, but I really wanted to try painting it because that would be a lot of fun. So I decided to do a bunch of sunflowers and just a girl walking through the sunflowers. And I just really wanted to focus on um, painting it well and just like focusing on the colors and the brush strokes and just trying to kind of um, practice digital art a bit more. I want to get back into, I want to get used to it again, or like I want to get back into the flow of actually making full illustrations because I don't think I've done like a serious illustration in a long time. I do a lot of like doodles or just like one character with a solid background, but I haven't done a completed full illustration for a while. I think I did one recently actually, but it was just, it was pretty simple. It was more of a sketch than an actual finished drawing and something uh, I don't know if you've been noticing I've been doing my videos quite a bit is at the beginning um, I'll show my plants that I have on my window and I thought this would be I don't know I, it's kind of like a nice little background element but there's also kind of a purpose because I think it'd be a good way for me to kind of keep track of the progress of my plants so as my videos go on um, my plants will get bigger and grow um, and maybe I'll get uh, like every time I get a new plant I'll be able to know like when that happened approximately and I can kind of like see like if I watch a really old video of mine I can see uh, what what all the plants used to look like I, th I thought that'd be kind of like a good reason for why I'm showing my plants because they're not totally relevant to the video all the time but this video especially is kind of like summer themed a summer illustration so I thought it would it would go well at least with this video and a week ago I posted a video showing how to make stickers and so many of you order stickers from my shop so thank you so much if you're one of those people I really really appreciate it I have so much fun making the stickers and cutting them and making the packages and and actually like packing up the orders and actually mailing them and putting the stamp on the envelope it's just the whole thing is a lot of fun so thank you so much for allowing me to do that by ordering them and the link to my shop will always be in the description in case you ever want to check it out something with um digital illustrations is that you can zoom in as much as you want um to a certain extent eventually it just becomes all pixels but you can, you can really, really zoom in and you can get into the details and you can pretty much keep working on a drawing for a really long time. So something that's hard with um, digital art is knowing when to actually like stop working on it because you can get so caught up with the details and that definitely happens to me a lot. And I think it's what makes my drawing sometimes seem too stiff because I put too much detail in areas I don't need detail and I, I overwork places that should have been kept a bit more more loose and not so not so refined looking. And this is why I like to kind of alternate between digital and traditional because after making this drawing, I now really want to do some watercolor because after making this drawing, I now want to do some watercolor because with watercolor, you just kind of let the colors go where they want to go to a certain extent. You, you can still control it, but there's definitely a lot less control with traditional art because you can't zoom in like that. You you can only really see it from like a certain a certain distance, so you're not constantly focusing on the details and just with traditional art you just don't get caught up with all the little details which is what I like about traditional art so I think it's nice to, to do to do both digital and traditional and that's why like I said after making this I really want to do some watercolor or some gouache or just some some ballpoint pen drawings there's just um, less room for refining things 
with traditional that's another thing because with digital you can constantly change you can change anything you want at any time but in traditional you can only take it so far you can't go back a step you can't erase paint you can paint over things but if you're working with like ink you can't erase ink so it's definitely a lot more of a commitment i think it goes a bit faster with traditional sometimes i guess it depends on what you're doing but there's definitely differences in that sense and that's why i want to do some more watercolor videos after this one even though i'm kind of really into digital art at the moment i thought that uh while i'm at this stage i i could do a little a little explanation of kind of like the the process i went through so far for this so usually what i do is i have my sketch i'm just gonna hide all of my color layers so Here's my sketch. I started off everything with this nice blue background. I want it to be really, really summery feeling. Um, and then the next thing I did was on top of that, I made a new layer, roughed in the clouds really, really quickly, uh, made another layer and roughed in all the colors. And I thought it looked a little bit too empty. I'm gonna use my mouse instead now. Um, so then I added some darker green, um, some even darker green, some more foliage at the bottom. And after I had all the colors roughed in, um, I'm still underneath the sketch layer. I added some more details, um, a little more details. Every time I want to add some more details, I'll make a new layer, so I'm just kind of making them all visible now. Here's the clouds, um, another cloud layer, another cloud layer, just in case I want to go back a step, um, another detail, and then after I think I've added enough, kind of like blocked in all the colors and made it as neat as I can um, before cleaning everything up, I start to make layers on top of the sketch and that's when I start to clean things up. So you can see there's a difference between the hat and now the hat looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna continue to clean everything up, make it look all polished and nice. This is one of my favorite stages, um, just like making all the brush strokes look good and all the colors and um, just kind of polishing it off. But also um, sometimes it's hard to know when to stop cleaning everything up. So that's kind of the hard part about this stage, but I'm gonna keep doing that. I also want to make some more sticker designs for my store and I'm working on some enamel pins. One's in production right now and I want to work on another design to possibly have two of them. And another thing with my art that I'm trying to avoid is um, having them all have the same face because the, the new icon I made for my channel um, looks so similar to this recent drawing I posted on Instagram. Their faces are pretty much identical and I am aware of that and I don't want to make like everyone's face look the same like that so I'm gonna try to consciously not make all the faces look the same I think it's kind of for me I draw on so many like different kinds of styles I can get like really cartoony or more realistic so it kind of looks like I'm not having same face syndrome but if I draw two things in the same style I think they kind of look the same so I'm going to try to make a conscious effort to not have that in my art because I want my characters to look different from each other and I want them to have like their own features aside from just their like hair color and cut and their clothing because it's not really it doesn't really make someone unique what makes someone unique is their face and the way their body looks and everything like that so I definitely want to focus on that with with my art, or I just, I just want to keep it in the back of my mind for sure. Also, um, I do a lot of videos where I kind of, I'll say like, what I wish I knew as a beginner, and then I'll do like five things, or I'll do five tips for artists, or just things like that, but I think, um, like of course every once in a while I'll just do a normal video like this where I just have a painting and I just kind of ramble about random things, but if there's any sort of topic in particular that you want me to discuss, not necessarily like, oh, do a do a challenge video, not really something like that, but if there's any sort of like topic about being an artist that you just want to hear my opinion of, that would be that would be really good to hear because I, I like doing videos where I just kind of like ramble about a certain topic because it's cool to hear other people's opinions and it just kind of gets you thinking about it. And I really don't know what I'm kind of been been struggling for video ideas lately. There's definitely a few that I know I want to do for sure, but they're kind of uh, more involved and I want to spread them out a bit, but just for like the general like artist topic sort of video, 
that I do every once in a while. I don't think I've done one like that in a long time. So if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about, definitely let me know in the comments, please. I like to take some of your suggestions and just make videos out of them sometimes. So your suggestions are really, really helpful. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, seeing me paint this nice summery scene, um, just pretty much purely for aesthetic purposes, just for me to practice. And I just wanted to make a nice pretty sunflower scene because I've never done that before and I thought it'd be fun to draw some flowers. Even though they're really hard to draw, flowers are so hard to draw. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.